Hello everyone, I am Nikhil Kumar. Welcome back to the GitHub Action series. Today we are diving into one of the most practical feature of GitHub Actions, that is loops. Loops are a game changer for automatic repetitive tasks in your CI CD workflows. Whether you are testing multiple versions, deploying to multiple environments or processing lists. In this video, I will explain it step by step and show you how to use loops effectively. First, let's quickly understand what loops are. Loops allows you to repeat tasks multiple times without duplicating code. In GitHub Action, you can achieve this using a special feature called Matrix or With. With parameters in a use reusable workflow. To keep it simple, we will use a basic example where we process a list of items in a workflow. So let's start with a basic workflow. So I am going to create one workflow file that is the loop example dot yml and I'm giving a name to it that is loop example and it will be running on the push event and I'm going to define the jobs here and this particular job name is to greet people and it will be running on our runner that is ubuntu hyphen latest and then specify the steps so this step is to print greetings and let's specify the run run keyword here to define a for loop we need to use a for keyword just like we are using the shell script so we can use a shell script syntax here as well so for name in sam alice or bob i'm going to do a echo that is hello and the name and let's close the for loop done so basically for each name it prints the greeting to the logs so let's save this file and commit it and if we go back and refresh this one we can see there is a one workflow called loop example which will be running on our ubuntu hyphen latest and if you noticed it prints the greeting that is hello sam hello alice and hello bob so it created each person in the list this is a basic example but you can already see how loops can help simplify repetitive tasks let's take another use case imagine you have multiple files and if you want to run a script on each of them so here how you can do that using loops so let's modify the same workflow and let's add a step that is to create dummy files so i am going to create a dummy files here this is file one and updating into file one dot txt similarly i'm going to create a two more files file two file three file three and file two and now i'm going to process the files name that is process files that is run keyword and i'm going to use the same for loop here for file in file one dot txt file two dot txt and file three dot txt so i'm going to use a echo keyword here to print the data processing file first it will show the file name and then it will get the file and then let's commit this changes and let's go back here and if we see the workflow got triggered and if you see it created a set of files and then if we see it print the name of the file and then it printed the content of it this is how you can use loops in github action to simplify workflows and reduce code duplication and the best part 
you don't need any complex configuration just use a basic cell scripting so if you want to use a variable right now i have hard coded everything here so we can use the variable as well so to do that i am going to create a variable that is names equal to sam alice and bob and instead of this i am going to use a names here and let's commit the changes and let's go back here and see how it works now if you see here it printed the names but right now it's variableized we have stored into the variable and using the same variable to iterate over the names and print the greeting as you can see it worked fine and that's it i hope this tutorial gave you a clear understanding of how to use loops in github actions in my next video i will explain a matrix build in the github action where we cover the advanced looping techniques for testing multiple environments so don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with more content like this thanks for watching i will see you in the next one